In this video, I'm going to talk about practical uses for 4 and 8K resolutions. This video is going to be focused around 4K because it is the most common, but a lot of these uses can apply to 8K as well. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you have a camera that shoots in 4K, whether that be your phone, a drone, a DSLR, or a GoPro. If not, maybe you're thinking about upgrading. We already know that just the larger resolution of 4K alone is not going to make your videos better. And if you're not quite there yet, I have linked some videos below that have debunked this myth. And that is the myth that 4K is somehow this magical thing that is going to make your videos look way, way better, which it is not. So if this is true, why would you ever use 4 or even 8K? These require a more powerful computer than 1080p and are generally just more of a hassle to work with. Reframing. I use this in absolutely every project. If I'm shooting run and gun or even just an interview, sometimes I get back into my computer and I wish that I would have framed my shot differently. A 4K video is physically much larger in size than a 1080p video. So when you drop a 4K video onto a 1080p timeline, it is going to be very zoomed in. This means I can zoom it out for a wide shot or keep it zoomed in for a tight. This opens up a lot of possibilities. Because 4K allows you to zoom in so much, you can completely reframe a shot. If I'm usually strapped for time, what I'll do is shoot wider than I want, knowing that I can zoom in after the fact. This allows me more time to figure out how I want to frame my shot. This also allows you to create the illusion that you have two camera angles, one wide and one tight. The second use is using 4K in the place of a longer zoom lens or a macro lens. If you can't physically get closer to your subject, you can shoot in 4K with the intention of zooming in afterwards. Maybe you don't have a super macro lens, but you want to get a really close up shot. 4K allows you to do this. I would just make sure that the area you want to zoom into is in focus, as shooting close to a subject usually has a shallow depth of field. The last use for 4K is stock footage. If you are trying to sell clips from past projects, having them in 4K will increase the likelihood of people wanting to buy them. It adds versatility and future proofing. It guarantees that if everything moves to 4K, that those clips will still remain relevant. People also pay more for 4K. You don't need to shoot in 4K to sell stock. It is not necessary at all. But if you have the option to do so, I would recommend it. And this brings me to the end of this video. 4 or 8K is in no way a requirement to make quality videos. And I would argue that you probably don't need it. But if you do have access to these tools, they will make your life a lot easier. Comment below if you have any more practical uses for 4 or 8K. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.